Grammarly does more than catch errors. With Grammarly, you can find really good, no, perfect. Hello, people from the world well, waiting for your friends to join in. Uh, one, let's look at the, let's watch the video. Let's, I cannot review it. Good day, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Chigudaro, and today we are going to continue on Unit 4 Learning World. For your information, this is going to be the fourth lesson, which will be on page 46 on your student's book. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to listen to interviews about learning a language. As usual, before we go through our lesson today, let me communicate with you first the framework of our lesson. First, we shall match interview questions to the correct pictures. And after that, we shall listen to an interview and identify the languages that Mario, Mark and Hannah learn. Last but not least, we will listen to the interview again and answer the questions on behalf of Mario, Mark and also Hannah. Without further ado, let us begin with the first activity of our lesson today which is to match the interview questions and the pictures. This is the exercise that I extracted from your student's book on page 46, activity 1. Let's go through the interview questions one by one. Number 1. Do you ever listen to English when you are out of school? Number 2. Do you know the alphabet? Can you spell your name in English? Number 3. Do you check words in a dictionary or word list? Number 4. Do you repeat a new word if you want to learn it? Number 5. Do you ever practice your pronunciation? Number 6. Do you revise before an exam? Number 7. Do you ask questions when you don't understand? Number 8. Do you usually concentrate when you do your homework? Number 9. Do you make notes about grammar or write new vocabulary in your notebook? Number 10. Do you ever read books, articles, or comics in English? So let's try to match the correct interview questions to the pictures one by one. Let's look at number one. Do you ever listen to English when you are out of school? Which one should be the answer from A until J? Which picture that you think is the most appropriate? It's E. All right. Number two, do you know the alphabet? Can you spell your name in English? Which picture shall this interview question go to? It's H. As you can see from the picture there, the girl is spelling. Number three, do you check words in the dictionary or work list? So let's see which picture is dealing with the dictionary. We can see it's picture D. Number four, do you repeat a new word if you want to learn it? So which picture is the individual repeating? It's C. You can see the boy is repeating the word snake for three times. Number five, do you ever practice your pronunciation? Which picture is this? It's A. As you can see there, the boy is looking at the mirror and trying to practice with his own. Number six, do you revise before an exam? Which picture shall this go to? It's I. You can see the boy is doing a lot of revision by referring to many books. Number seven, do you ask questions when you don't understand? Well, which picture is the most suitable one? It's J. You can see the boy is trying to put his hand up trying to ask questions because his face is already showing that he doesn't understand. Number eight, do you usually concentrate when you do your homework? Which picture? It's B. And you can see there, the boy is listening to music at the same time he has a TV beside him. And he is also reading books. So this is the most appropriate for this question. Do you usually concentrate when you do your homework? Number nine, do you make notes about grammar or write new vocabulary in your notebook? 
as and you can see from picture F, it's written present simple. So present simple is a grammatical item. Therefore, F is the correct picture. Number 10. Do you ever read books, articles, or comics in English? So the last answer should go to G. As you can see, the girl is reading English book. So how many interview questions did you manage to match correctly with the pictures? If you get all correct, congratulations. Now, let's proceed to the second activity of our lesson today, which is to listen and identify what are the languages learned by Mario, Mark and Peter, and also Hannah. Now, I'm going to play an audio and you are going to listen to these interviews with the Londoners who are learning languages. These Londoners are Mario, Mark and Peter, and also Hannah. Without further ado, let us start listening to the audio. Unit 4. Vocabulary and Listening. Exercises 3 and 4. 1. So, Mario, you're a football player. Are you learning English? Yes, I am, because I live here and I play football here. What are you doing now? I'm watching TV. <laughs> it's good for my English. Is English difficult? It's OK. My listening is not so good. Two. Mark, Peter, police officers in London are learning languages. That's right. Are you learning the same language? No, we aren't. I'm learning Russian and Peter's learning Arabic. Why are you studying those languages? Because a lot of people from different countries live in London or visit London. What are you doing now, Mark? I'm checking new vocabulary on the internet. Is Russian difficult? <laughs> For me, yes. It's got different letters. Reading and writing are difficult. Three. Hannah, what language are you studying? Mandarin. Really? At school? Yes. We've got a teacher from China. What are you doing now? I'm revising for my exams now. Is Mandarin a difficult language? Yes, it's very difficult. The pronunciation. The sounds are difficult. But I like it. Can you say goodbye in Mandarin? Yes. Zaijian. That's the end of the interview. And now, let's get back to the question. What language do they learn? Let's start with Mario first. What language does Mario learn based on the audio that you listened? It's English. How about Mark and Peter? Berdasarkan kisah sebenar Besok PKP ke? Ada yang tidak peduli Begitu panjang Alhamdulillah Ada yang bimbang Bahaya untuk family saya Saya tak peduli Tapi macam mana nak balik? Tak bagi balik kan? Stres lah Apa yang awak takut sangat? Takut dengan Allah Bukan takut dengan Corona Maruk blok mah Tapi kita nak tipu apa ni Tin? Covid sekarang ni makin naik Pakcik tak izinkan tak apalah kira dia berhenti terus lah Lockdown Mulai 26 Julai Isnin hingga Kamis 11 malam what languages are they learning? What is the language that Mark is learning? 
Mark is learning Russian and Peter is learning Arabic. Last but not least, Hannah. What is Hannah learning? She is learning Mandarin. So these are the languages that Mario, Hannah, Mark and Peter learn. They learn English, Russian and Arabic, Mandarin respectively. Now, moving on to the next activity of our lesson today, we are going to listen to the audio again and you will need to answer questions about Mario, Hannah, Mark and Peter. This time, I have already divided the audio specifically for each of these interviewee. Are you ready? I'm going to play the audio again and you listen to the interview that can answer the questions here. Unit 4 Vocabulary and listening. Exercises three and four. One. So, Mario, you're a football player. Are you learning English? Yes, I am, because I live here and I play football here. What are you doing now? I'm watching TV. <laughs> it's good for my English. Is English difficult? It's okay. My listening is not so good. So based on the conversation between Mario and the interviewer, what is Mario doing now? The answer is, he is watching TV because he thinks that he can learn more English from watching TV. Next, what does he think is difficult when learning English? The answer is, he thinks listening is difficult. Next, let's move on to Mark and Peter. Again, I'm going to play the audio. Two. Mark, Peter, police officers in London are learning languages. That's right. Are you learning the same language? No, we aren't. I'm learning Russian and Peter's learning Arabic. Why are you studying those languages? Because a lot of people Eh uh, ni kelas awak saja ni eh sesi ni. Uh, kita tak campur dengan year 4, year 5. Ibn, apa Fat Arabi. Today is for year 5 Ibn Sina lagi eh. People from different countries live in London or visit London. What are you doing now, Mark? I'm checking new vocabulary on the internet. Is Russian difficult? <laughs> for me, yes. It's got different letters. Reading and writing are difficult. Based on the conversation between Mark and Peter with the interviewer, what is Mark doing now? The answer here is, he is checking new vocabulary on the internet. Can you hear the sound of typing on the keyboard during the conversation? That is what Mark was doing. Number two, what does he think is difficult? Well, because Mark is learning Russian and he thinks that reading and writing are difficult. So these are the answers. Next, let's move on to Hannah and let's listen. What is Hannah doing now as well as what does she think is difficult? Three. Hannah, what language are you studying? Mandarin. Really? At school? Yes. We've got a teacher from China. What are you doing now? I'm revising for my exams now. Is Mandarin a difficult language? Yes, it's very difficult. The pronunciation. The sounds are difficult. But I like it. Can you say goodbye in Mandarin? Yes. Zaijian. So that's the end of conversation between Hannah and the interviewer. Now what is Hannah doing? She is revising for her exam. And what does she think is difficult when learning Mandarin? In the audio, Hannah mentioned that she thinks pronunciation is difficult. That's why towards the end of the audio, you can hear that the way she pronounced goodbye in Mandarin is not that accurate. 
So that's the end of our lesson today. This is the homework that I have prepared for you. Feel free to just scan uh, the QR code right in front of your screen to do the Google Form exercise straight away. Or you can just go to the video description below and click on the link. And if you're a teacher and you would like to make a copy of this Google Form exercise, feel free to just scan the QR code right in front of your screen. Or you can click on the link that I have provided at the description video below. As usual, don't forget to visit. Okay, kita akan tengok saya lagi video ni dan saya akan bagi ulasan lah I'm going to make some review Okay So, apa-apa yang kamu tak faham, kamu boleh tanya Okay, orang lain tak masuk lagi ni, tak apalah Good day everyone Welcome back to my channel I'm Cikgu Darrell and today we are going to continue on Unit 4 Learning World. For your information, this is going to be the fourth lesson, which will be on page 46. On okay, latihan hari ini, uh, kalau kamu nak tengok untuk rujukan, you can look at in your book, page 46. Uh, dalam, muka, dalam buku, muka surat 46. That's the, I think, uh, work, a textbook tu eh. Cuba tengok balik. On your student's book. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to listen to interviews about learning a language. Okay, so matlamat atau objective uh, pembelajaran kita ini, our aim today for this lesson is for you to understand uh, the language used during interviews. Eh? Uh, untuk kamu faham bahasa-bahasa yang digunakan semasa sesi temu duga. Sesi temu duga, interview. Uh, mungkin berguna. It, it, it might be useful for you when you uh, completed your schooling, your schooling time and then you are going to go for um, universities maybe, uh, going for work. Okay, berguna. As usual, before we go through our lesson today, let me communicate with you first the framework of our lesson. First, we shall match interview questions to the correct pictures. And after that, we shall listen to an interview and identify the languages that Mario, Mark, and Hannah learn. Last but not least, we will listen to the interview again and answer the questions on behalf of Mario, Mark and also Hannah. So, uh, dalam uh, pelajaran hari ini, kita akan belajar, kita akan buat tiga aktiviti. Pertama, number one is, uh, you will need to match interview questions to the correct pictures. So, ada, ada latihan memadankan matching. Eh? To match questions to the correct pictures. Uh, yang ni dalam buku ada. Cuma dalam, the, I think in the Google Form exercise, dia dah ubah suai sikit. So, kamu pilih. Uh, cuma kena tick saja. And, uh, apa nama tu? Jawapan dia. And the second activity is to listen to an interview and identify languages that Mario and Mark and Hannah learn. So, ini uh, nak dengar. Okey, ni listening skill eh? listening skill. So kamu kena dengar interview dan kena pasti apa bahasa-bahasa yang Mario, Mark dan Hena belajar. Okey. And last but not least, you will be listening to this interview again and answer the questions on behalf of Mario, Mark and Hena. Kita akan dengar lagi sekali interview ni. Dan uh, jawab soalan uh, mewakili Mario, Mark and Hannah. Seolah-olah awak ni jadi Mario, jadi Mark dan jadi Hannah. Okay. Kita tengok. 
Without further ado, let us begin with the first activity of our lesson today, which is to match the interview questions and the pictures. Okay, ini latihan pertama. Ya, suaikan soalan dengan gambar. Tengok gambar tu, look at the picture, uh, what the picture shows you, and then uh, what are what is the relevant question uh, that can be related to the picture? This is the exercise that I extracted from your student's book on page 46, activity 1. Let's go through the interview questions one by one. Okay, ini... Number 1. Do you ever listen to English when you are out of school? Number 2. Do you know the alphabet? Can you spell your when you are through the interview questions okey ni uh, soalan ni latihan ni sebenarnya ada dalam buku kamu cuma ada cikgu Dara dia dah ubah suai untuk 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 uh, untuk video ni so kamu boleh tengok gambar-gambar uh, ni dan juga soalan-soalan ni dalam buku kamu nanti okey let's look at apa nak buat ni one by one Number one, do you ever listen to English when you are out of school? Number two, do you know the alphabet? Can you spell your name in English? Number three, do you check words in a dictionary or word list? Number four, do you repeat a new word if you want to learn it? Number five, do you ever practice your pronunciation? Number six, do you revise before an exam? Number seven, do you ask questions when you don't understand? Number eight, do you usually concentrate when you do your homework? Number nine, do you make notes about grammar or write new vocabulary in your notebook? Number 10, do you ever read books, articles, or comics in English? Okay, those are the questions. Ini soalan-soalan, Yan. Yan, uh... Yang akan ditanya lah ha, dalam satu sesi uh, sesi temu duga interview. So if you notice, so, so kesemua soalan ni bermula dengan do you, do you, do you. Okay, apa maksud do you ni? Uh, Zulaika, kasih Zulaika, apa maksud do you? Uh, you tahu you apa maksud you? Apa maksud you you? I, I, saya, kalau you apa you? Ha, Zulaika Aisyah? Ada tak orang ni? <laughs> Kesel cakap seorang je ni. Adakah awak? Ah yes, adakah awak ataupun adakah anda? Eh? So ni dalam bentuk soalan. Do you? Adakah kamu? Adakah awak? Kemudian diikuti dengan perbuatan. Satu-satu satu, satu perkataan yang mewakili perbuatan. Contoh yang pertama. Do you ever listen? Do you ever listen? Listen ni maksudnya dengar. Ever maksudnya pernah. Pernah. Eh? pernah. Do you ever listen to English when you're out of school? Maksud di soalan ni berbunyi. Maksud pernahkah, adakah kamu pernah dengar uh, English atau uh, apa ni? Uh, pernah dengar perkataan-perkataan uh, English ataupun orang bercakap English apa-apa sajalah bahan yang dia, uh, berbentuk uh, yang berbahasa Inggeris bila kamu when you out of school bila kamu di luar sekolah ya uh, mana kat luar sekolah ada tak dengar bahan-bahan uh, bahasa Inggeris uh, dengar lagu bahasa Inggeris ke dengar orang bercakap bahasa Inggeris ke uh, mak uh, speaking ke uh, adik speaking ke ayah speaking ke Uh, do you ever listen to English when you are off of school? Uh, pernah adakah kamu pernah dengar bahasa Inggeris bila kamu keluar daripada sekolah? Okey, ini soalan dia. Okay, kemudian nombor dua. Do you know the alphabet? What is alphabet? Uh, siapa tahu alphabet ni apa? Uh, yang A, B, C, D, siapa Z ni. Those are alphabets. Kita panggil apa tu bahasa Melayu? Alphabet. Huruf, eh? Hu? Huruf. Uh, do you know the alphabet? Maksud dia, adakah kamu kenal, tahu huruf? Kenal huruf tak? Ha, ni masuk soalan ni. Can you spell your name in English? Uh, boleh tak kamu spell? 
Aja nama kamu dalam bahasa Inggeris? No. Ada ke? Ke Zulaika ada nama lain bahasa Inggeris? Tak takut jadi jadi Janet Jackson ke apa ke? Eh? Ke okay, jadi uh, Zulaika kalau tulis kod Inggeris jadi jadi macam mana? How do you spell your your, your name in in English? Zulaika. Uh, does it change? Be beza ke tak? Beza ke tak? Ya. Ya. Ada tapi some for some for some names dia ada beza. Ha, okay, contoh. Uh, kalau dalam bahasa Inggeris uh, kalau bahasa Melayu Daud. Tahu pernah dengar Daud? D A U D. Nabi Daud kan Nabi Daud. Ha? Ha, tapi bahasa Inggeris orang Inggeris dia tak tulis Daud, dia tulis apa? Dia tulis David. Ha, David D A V I D. David itu uh, in English. And then kalau kalau kamu tengok lagi Nabi Musa. Musa M U S A. Kalau bahasa Arab dia atau bahasa Melayu dia Musa. But in English dia tak tulis Musa. Dia tulis apa? Dia tulis Moses. Moses. Eh? Okay, nanti saya tulis uh, contoh. Ini perbezaan sedikitlah. Kalau kita nama kita ni tak ada masalah. Uh, kalau uh, some name lah sesetengah nama. Kalau contoh Daud bahasa Melayu Bahasa Inggeris dia tulis David. Ha. So kalau ada ai siapa-siapa nama Daud, bolehlah panggil dia David kok. Ha. Musa, ha. kalau bahasa Inggeris dia jadi Moses. Ha. contoh apa lagi? Ha. Ha. Hmm. Jacob, ha. Yakub, Yakub. Ha. Yakub bahasa ah ni masa nama-nama nak nama-nama nabi lah ke ni the name of prophets but in english dia tulis Jacob ah uh, dah ini contohlah ni contoh ha uh, boleh faham eh tapi kalau nama Zulaika Zulaika ada tak versi bahasa inggris ada 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 takut jadi lain kok takut jadi jadi apa jadi uh, jadi apa eh <laughs> Takut jadi uh, Janet ke kot Ke? Okey Tak ada tak ah. ah, No So Zulaika is Zulaika Okey So our name tak ada masalah lah But some names yang contoh yang saya tunjuk ni Dia ada perbezaan Bahasa Melayu dan Bahasa Inggeris Okey Okey next Kita tengok Seterusnya so, kita tengok Okey do you repeat Do you repeat Do you, sorry, do you check words in the, in the in the dictionary or word list? Okay, kamu semak perkataan-perkataan ni dalam kamus ke ataupun dalam senarai yang diberikan, senarai perkataan. So, ni contoh-contoh so, soalan lah. And, uh, do you repeat a new word if you want to learn it? Kamu ulang tak perkataan baru kalau kamu nak belajar? Do you ever practice your pronunciation? Do you, uh, do you, adakah kamu pernah latih your pronunciation, sebutan kamu. Pronunciation ni maksudnya sebutan. Sebutan perkataan. Eh? Do you revise before an exam? Adakah kamu revise maksudnya ulang kaji before an exam, sebelum peperiksaan? Do you ask questions? Adakah kamu tanya soalan when you don't understand? Bila kamu tak faham Do you usually concentrate When you do your homework Adakah kamu selalunya Memberi, concentrate Maksudnya memberi tumpuan eh? Memberi tumpuan bila kamu Buat kerja rumah Homework, do you make notes About grammar, adakah kamu buat Nota berkenaan dengan Grammar, tata bahasa Or write new vocabulary Ataupun tulis perkataan-perkataan Baru In your notebooks Dalam buku nota kamu Do you ever read books? Adakah kamu pernah baca buku? Artikel eh? Petikan-petikan Ataupun komik Dalam bahasa Inggeris ha, okay, Ini contoh-contoh soalan Yang nak di, yang ditanya dalam temu duga Kita dengar lagi apa saudara sebut So let's try To match the correct interview questions To the pictures one by one Let's look at number one. Do you ever listen to English when you are out of school? Which one should be the answer from A until J 
which picture that you think is the most appropriate? Okay, mana jawapan bagi soalan nombor satu? Gambar mana yang sesuai? Daripada nombor A, B sampai J ni. Zulaikha, do you ever listen to English when you're out of school? Kat mana uh, gambar yang sesuai dengan soalan ni? B. B. Okay, Zulaikha kata B. Kita tengok dah tadi. E. Okay, tak apa. E. 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 Okay. This one. Okay, Zulaikha kata yes. E. Okay, let's. Okay, you said this one eh. Eh, oh, sorry. Tak apa. Uh, you said this one. Eh? Kita tengok nanti lepas ni. Okay, next. It's oh, okay. E. Yeah, betul. All right. Number two. Do you know the alphabet? Can you spell your name in English? Which picture shall this interview question go to? Okay, number two. Mana gambar yang sesuai? Do you know the alphabet? Can you spell your name in English? Yes. Mana? Yes, ya, ini nampak tak? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Ya, ini adalah alphabet lah tu. Eh? Ini, ini. Yang, yang apa? Yang ada... It's H. As you can see from the picture there, the girl is spelling. Okay. Number three, do you check words in the dictionary or work list? So let's see which picture. Okay, number three, do you check words in the, in the, in a dictionary or work list? What's that? B. B. This one. D. D. This one. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Is dealing with the dictionary. We can see it's picture. D. Yeah, yes, correct. E. Number four. Do you repeat a new word if you want to learn it? So which picture is the individual repeating? It. Okay, which one showing a repetition of words? C. C. Yes, yeah. ulang tengok snake, snake, snake. Ah, dia ulang. Mana nak semua ingat? Okay. So itu maksud. Do you repeat, repeat? Maksud dia ulang. Eh, ulang perkataan baru. Ah, ini, ini satu cara nak belajar. This is one way to, for you to memorize new words eh, by repeating the words over and over again. Okay, okay let's, let's look at so, tak jawab dia. It's C. Yes, you can see the boy is repeating the word snake for three times. Number five, do you ever practice your pronunciation? Okay, which, which one? Do you ever e. practice your pronunciation? Okay, no. E. Okay, dia okay ya. Dia duduk depan cermin kan. Uh, he is standing in front of a mirror and try to uh, pronounce the words eh? and look at the 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 the, the way uh, his mouth is moving. Uh, itu cara dia nak belajar sebutan baru. Betul lah. Eh? Bergerakkan lidah dia, gerakkan mulut dia. Okay. Next. Which picture is this? It's A. Yes, As you can see there, the boy is looking at the mirror and trying to practice with his own. Number six, do you revise before an exam? Okay, do you revise before an exam? Revise maksud dia ulang kaji. Mana gambar dia? I. I. Mana I? So this one? This one eh? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, macam, okay. Macam ulang kaji. Banyak buku depan dia tu. Which picture shall this go to? It's... I. Yes, you can correct. see the boy is doing a lot of revision by referring to many books. Number seven, do you ask questions when you don't understand? Okay, which one? Seven. Do you ask questions when you don't understand? This is uh, a very good uh, attitude. Ini uh, satu sifat yang bagus. Eh? Bila tak tahu, tanya. Uh, dengan buat senyap. Okay. So, yes. so let's see the answers. Well, which picture is the most suitable one? It's J. You can see the boy is trying to put his hand up trying to ask questions because his face is already showing that he doesn't understand. Number eight. Do you usually concentrate when you do your homework? Okay, which one? Do you usually concentrate when you do your homework? Concentrate, as I have told you just now, maksud dia menumpukan perhatian. Ha, mana satu? B. B, okay. Kita tengok. 
Konsentrate betul tak ni Pakai headphone Pakai pegang buku Depan TV ke foto uh, dia, dia tak tengok TV tak uh, dia, tengok, dia tengok baca buku Dia tengok Which picture? It's B And you can see there The boy is listening to music at the same time he has a TV beside him and he is also reading books. So this is the most appropriate for this question. Do you usually concentrate when you do your homework? Number nine, do you make notes about grammar or write new vocabulary in your notebook? As and you okay, which one? Do you make notes F. about grammar or write new vocabulary in your notebooks? Okay, kalau kita tengok F. sini, yes, F. Sebab tengok dia tulis, present simple. Present simple ni adalah salah satu tajuk. One of the one of the item in grammar in grammar learning. Eh. Okay, so dia tulis untuk mudah ingat. Okay. You can see from picture F, it's written present simple. So present simple is a grammatical item. Therefore, F is the correct picture. Number 10. Do you ever read books, articles, or comics in English? So the last answer should go to G. Okay, yes. Ini tak ada lah. Ini ngelah ni eh. Do you ever read books, articles, or comics in English? Eh, adakah kamu pernah baca buku uh, ataupun uh, petikan-petikan uh, karangan ataupun komik in English? Kalau tengok kat sini, dia, dekat buku ni dia tulis English Stories. So this is the last one. Kita tengok seterusnya. As you can see, the girl is reading English book. So, how many interview questions did you manage to match correctly with the pictures? If you get all correct, congratulations. Now, let's proceed to the second activity of our lesson today, which is to listen and identify what other languages learned by Mario, Mark and Peter, and also Hannah. Now, I'm going to play an audio and you are going to listen to these interviews with the Londoners who are learning languages. This Okay, if you notice, ada satu perkataan kat sini. Eh, ni. Land, uh, Londoners ni. Apa maksud Londoners ni? Apa tahu? Uh, apa tahu apa maksud Londoners? Uh, kalau kita uh, kita duduk di ter, di Terengganu kita uh, ataupun di Tok Randuk uh, di kap, orang kampung Tok Randuk dia akan panggil uh, Tok Randukes Tok Randukes ha uh, maknanya orang yang duduk di tempat tersebut so kalau dia kata Londoners maksudnya apa orang yang duduk orang di ah uh, orang London orang London lah ah uh, tu maksud dia Londoners Kalau kita duduk kolaborang, dia akan panggil kolaborangus. Okay. Okay. Dia merujuk pada tempat orang tu duduk. Okay. Okay. Kita, okay. kita ada 10 minit lagi. Saya akan kongsi, saya akan buat bagi link baru nanti. Kalau tu. Kalau tak sempat. Sebab kita akan tengok Google Form ni. Kita tengok seluruhnya apa latihan seluruhnya. Londoners are Mario, Mark and Peter and also Hannah. Without further ado, let us start listening to the audio. Unit 4. Vocabulary and Listening. Exercises 3 and 4. 1. So, Mario, you're a football player. Are you learning English? Yes, I am, because I live here and I play football here. What are you doing now? I'm watching TV. <laughs> it's good for my English. Is English difficult? It's okay. My listening is not so good. Two. Mark, Peter, police officers in London are learning languages. That's right. Are you learning the same language? No, we aren't. I'm learning Russian and Peter's learning Arabic. Why are you studying those languages? Because a lot of people from different countries live in London or visit London. What are you doing now, Mark? I'm checking new vocabulary on the internet. Is Russian difficult? <laughs> For me, yes. It's got different letters. Reading and writing are difficult. 
three. Hannah, what language are you studying? Mandarin. Really? At school? Yes. We've got a teacher from China. What are you doing now? I'm revising for my exams now. Is Mandarin a difficult language? Yes, it's very difficult. The pronunciation, the sounds are difficult, but I like it. Can you say goodbye in Mandarin? Yes, 再见 That's the end of the interview. And now let's get back to the question: What language do they learn? Let's start with Mario first. What language does Mario learn based on the? Okay, what language does Mario learns based on the uh, audio just now? Mario le- belajar bahasa apa tadi? Kita dengar tadi. English. English, yes, correct. Eh, okay, ah, bagus. Dia belajar bahasa Inggeris. So Mario, ka- kalau kita tengok pada nama dia tu, Mario. Agak-agak dia ni memang orang asal British ke orang mana ni? Where do you think Mario is from? Kalau kita tengok negara dia. Agak kan kata Malaysia bukan Malaysia ni. Mario bukan nama orang Malaysia. So kalau nama Mario ni biasanya orang mana ni? Eh? Which country do you think he is from? Uh, Britain? No, I don't think is he is from Britain. American pun mungkin bukan. So kerana Mario ni dia bunyi Latin sikit. Latin, Latin ni daripada negara Amerika Latin. Uh, contohnya negara Spanyol, eh, Spain, uh, Italy. Uh, so uh, in those countries, uh, the, the name Mario is usually, uh, is commonly used uh, for people there. Okay? So probably Mario ni mungkin asal daripada uh, Spanyol ataupun Italy. Eh? Okay. The audio that you listened, it's English. Yes, correct. Yeah. How about Mark and Peter? Okay, what? What about Mark and Peter? Ah, uh, Mark bahasa apa? Peter bahasa apa tadi dia belajar? Ah, uh, what does Mark learn uh, language? What does Mark ah uh, uh, apa? What does ah uh, Mark learn? What language does Mark learn? Bahasa apa? Rusian, oh, Rusian and Arabic. Uh, Russian, Russian, nak Rusian, eh? Russian, <laughs> Russian and Arabic. Mak learning, Mak is learning uh, Russian and Peter is learning Arabic. Bahasa Rusia dan bahasa Arab. Okay, kita tengok. Languages are they learning? What is the language that Mark is learning? Mark is learning. Russian and Peter is learning Arabic. Yeah, yes. Last but not least, Hannah. What, what, about, what about Hannah? Mandarin. Mandarin. Yes. Mandarin. So, awak tengok Hannah ni laki puan eh? So, tengok, perempuan kan? Yes. Ah, tapi awak nampak sekali tengok tu macam lelaki. <laughs> Nama perempuan. Okay, so let's look at what language does Hannah learn? Is Hannah learning? She is learning Mandarin. Yes, so right. these are the languages that Mario, Hannah, Mark, and Peter learn. Yes. They learn English, Russian, and Arabic, Mandarin, respectively. Now, moving on to the next activity of our lesson today, we are going to listen to the audio again, and you will need to answer questions about Mario, Hannah, Mark, and Peter. This time, I have already divided the audio specifically for each of these interviewee. Are you ready? I'm going to play the audio again, and you listen to the interview that can answer the questions here. Unit four: Vocabulary and Listening. Exercises three and four. One. So, Mario, you're a football player. Are you learning English? Yes, I am because I live here and I play football here. What are you doing now? I'm watching TV. <laughs> It's good for my English. Is English difficult? It's okay. My listening is not so good. 
So based on the conversation between Mario and the interviewer, what is Mario doing now? The answer is... Okay, what is Mario doing now? He is watching TV. Okay, he's watching TV, okay. okay uh, what does he think is difficult in learning the, la the English language? Apa yang dia fikir susah? Masa belajar bahasa Inggeris tu. Things is listening difficult. Yes. Uh, he was having a difficulty in listen, eh, in listening. Ada orang dia belajar bahasa Inggeris, dia boleh cakap. He can speak very well. But he cannot listen very well. Dia tak berapa faham kalau dengar. Cakap boleh. And some people, they do, they can read very well. Dia boleh menulis. Eh, boleh menulis, but they cannot read. Boleh tulis tapi tak boleh baca. Ada juga macam tu eh. Okay. So, uh, for Mario, in learning English, he is uh, he is having a difficulty in listening. Kita okay, tengok jawapan dia. He is watching TV because he thinks that he can learn more English from watching TV. Next, what does he think is difficult when learning English? The answer is... He thinks listening is yes. difficult. Okay, if you watch the the the, the answers here, kalau kamu tengok soalan ni, macam mana cari dia jawab? What does he think is difficult? Cuba tengok perkataan think. Cuba tengok perkataan think. Ada beza tak? Think dekat atas dan think kat bawah. Apa beza dia? Dekat atas tak ada S. Bawah ada S. Ah, yes. Kenapa bawah ada S? Sebab tengok sini. Eh? Yang 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 buat perbuatan ini adalah singgiu, singgiula, singgiu. Okay. Yang atas ni S dia duduk kat sini. Ni S ni. Ah ni S ni. Ah sebenarnya S ni lah yang turun kat bawah ni. Mana? S ni yang turun dekat bawah ni. Ni, S ni turun kat sini. Ni, S yang kat sini ni. Dalam soalan, dia tak letak dekat S kat sini. Dia tak letak sini. So, dia letak dalam jawapan. Yang ini dihilangkan. Tapi, S ni dia masih kekal turun kat bawah. Okay. Okay, kita nak habis dah untuk sesi ni. Saya akan bagi link baru nanti. Sebab ni, 